Well, uh, let's cross now to the Secretary of State for Science, Michelle Donnellan, who joins us live from Westminster. A very good morning to you, Secretary of State. Um, I want to start by talking to you, good morning, about our top story, um, all eyes on Westminster uh, and concerns uh, around security, particularly in relation to Chinese spies. Um, your Cabinet colleague, Kemi Badnock, says that we need China in order to hit our net zero ambitions. Do you agree with that? Look, you know, China presents a challenge both to our national security but also to our values. And so our approach, therefore, needs to be one of engagement but also one of robustness. And that's certainly the approach that we've been taking. I think what, what we're saying is that we can't just be naive. We can't put our head in the sand and wish China away. They are the second largest economy. They have a fifth of the world's entire population. And when it comes to climate change, they're the biggest producer and emitter of, of carbon dioxide. So we do have to take China seriously. And that's the approach that we've been taking. What evidence do you have given? Can you give me some evidence of where we have acted robustly, other than these strong words being used at the G20? It's not exactly going to have China quaking in their boots. Why haven't we summoned the ambassador, for example? Why aren't we talking about sanctions? I mean, the very idea that there could even be, and I, I quote, a network of Beijing informants in Westminster it, is outrageous. Well, yeah, let's go through some of the things that we've done in, in our approach. So, for instance, we've stripped out Huawei in the 5G network. We banned TikTok on government devices. We've established a procurement bill, which helps us here. We've had a national security act, which gives us more control of our industry. We've cracked down on Chinese investment in our nuclear sector, in our semiconductors. Um, we didn't meet with China at a top level for many years, from 2018, I believe it is, until last week. We're in line with our five eyes, if not more forthright in our approach. But as I said, you know, it would be very naive to just pretend that China didn't exist. And it wouldn't be in the interest of British, inter of British industry, British jobs, tackling climate change. The list goes on. Colleagues within the Conservative Party feel as though there's been an attempt within Westminster to pretend that the spies don't exist. Why we're only learning about this in August, September, when this happened back in March. And Lindsay Hoyle saying this is because it's an issue of national security. We have a right to know about this, don't we? When it comes to national security, the sensitive information does have to be released at the appropriate time, especially when live investigations are, are undergoing. But do you think that MPs shouldn't be allowed to discuss the details of this case in the Commons? I think that the Speaker of the House has, has um, made a statement on this because this is a live investigation and we do have to recognise that fact. Um, and today you want to talk about the online safety bill. I know you've got a whole host of guests mm. uh, arriving at Downing Street. Um, and, of course, we've spoken to Georgia Harrison on this very programme, bit of a trailblazer in relation to the changes she's managed to make to uh, the legislation. Tell us about the meeting today. Yes, what we're doing is we're gathering a load of uh, people that are in the public eye that have experienced themselves or their family have or their loved ones uh, online abuse. And they too want to uh, talk about and also raise the profile of this groundbreaking piece of legislation. And what this piece of legislation is going to do is it's going to make the UK the safest place in the world to be online. That's quite staggering. Not just for children, but for adults too. Because we are making sure that illegal content is got rid of as part of our triple shield. The second shield is making sure that platforms actually enforce their terms and conditions so you know what you're going to get when you sign up to one of these platforms and they can't treat different groups differently and thirdly that we're empowering adults to have more control over the content they see but when it comes to children parents across the country can be reassured that actually we are taking a zero tolerance approach secretary of state thank you very much indeed michelle Donnellan is the um, Secretary for Innovation, Science and Technology talking to us live there from Westminster. Appreciate your time. Thank you.